Hello everyone and welcome to Usability. Today we are going to see how to play Standoff 2 on PC using the amazing Blue Stacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action, and it has faster performance than any other high-end Android device or Android platform. We will be able to easily download and install Standoff 2 and enjoy the game on our Windows PC or laptop with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Blue Stacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Standoff 2. So without further ado, let's get to it. First of all buddies, to get started we have to launch our favorite browser. We open the one we use by default. Let's go to this URL that I'm highlighting in green color. There you are seeing it on the PC screen. There is no need to type it, simply because I provided the clickable link in the video description and as well in the first pinned comment. Once clicking on the link, we reach the website of Bluestacks. Which the Android emulator that we are going to use to play Standoff 2 on the PC. It is now obvious that we get a number of advantages of using the emulator. Then, we will start downloading the Standoff 2 by clicking on the button play on blue stacks that I have marked in green. We then click on the button. And the download step starts and ends immediately. Here it is, here is located the download. It's a file to execute. The following step is to launch the installer, ok, then we need to click on the file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to allow changes to the computer. We answered yes. I minimize the internet browser to see the installer better. The installer is straightforward. It consists of a couple of options, install, and setup path. I will clarify what setup path does. We basically just click it. And we note that we display here the path where your emulator can be set up. If we choose to modify this directory we have got to click on this, browse, option, and now we pick another folder and install the emulator wherever we want. To keep it simple, just keep it where it is. Then, I click on back. And I simply click install. Now, there it is. The setup commences and it will go forward together with the download of those megabytes that are shown on this computer screen. The moment you save it on your hard disk, it could possibly be more or less megabytes. The download rate may go faster or at a lower speed, depending on your type of access to the web and according to the efficiency of the emulator hosting servers. Right away they're progressing really fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance-related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. Now, the emulator happens to be launched successfully. As you can see, at the bottom of the screen, we have a progress bar that will advance to the right when it gets to the end, the emulator is started for the first time. In fact the emulator has been launched, there for the first time. Before we continue on, as you can see now, it has made two icons here on the PC desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks Multi Instance. Note that the Bluestacks icon will be the only one we are focused on. Whenever we are planning to run Standoff 2 on our desktop or laptop, we twice mouse click on this app icon and therefore start the emulator. The Bluestacks Multi Instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved Multi Instance Manager in Eco Mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Let's conduct the next phase, which is a must have, and that's to begin browsing the Google Play Store. To do this, we will browse here to System Apps, we click. And we will just click on Play Store. As you can see, the Google Play is started. Here we are required to sign in. Now, once we are there, we have to accomplish the next phase that is compulsory so that we simply click on, sign in. Now it shows, checking info. It can once in a while get stuck in, checking info, and so it doesn't move forward. If so, you may try to log in in after a couple of hours and it'll almost certainly be sorted out. Now we're going to enter our login name and password. The email has to be a Gmail email as well as its matching password. As an example you could use the exact same email address you're using currently in your YouTube account. Thus I am going to enter my info and I will revisit after I have accomplished it. That's it, info entered. Find out Google welcoming us and providing us their terms of service. We are going to consent to all of them by simply hitting, I agree. Next, it makes it possible to back up to the Google Cloud. You could let it checked and it will make a backup of your data files on this device to Google Drive. I am not going to select it, you can use that option if you desire. We click on accept. Google Play is started without need to open it manually and automatically. To set up the app game, we must visit the emulator desktop by double-clicking on that app icon indicated green colored. Now that we are discovering the desktop of that emulator, we observe that we come with here the install game option. We mouse click on this button. Here we have got the game. Let's click on right here on the install option that I'm presenting now in green color. And it will commence the installation. 
At this point it would download on your PC and install the Android game, it normally takes a bit of time or perhaps it could possibly be very quick. It again all depends on the internet connection. It has as of now ended installing. Back to the emulator desktop by hitting this particular button that I am highlighting in green, to be able to run Standoff 2 for the very first time. I am by now on the emulator desktop, and therefore we are going to click on this new Standoff 2 software icon that's been provided. The game app is launched for the first time. Currently there we get it, I'm able to click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I will discuss the sound level of the emulator. This is here. We have got the icon of higher volume and also the icon of lower volume, this way we do not count on the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound of this emulator. And to take pleasure in the experience to the fullest, we could switch on the big screen, for which we have two alternatives. This is actually the very first one, we mouse click on that icon which I am actually pointing out in green color. And the monitor is maximized, enjoying one border at the top, one at the right and one at the bottom. If we would like to launch the game in full screen, we hit this icon. And we might already be experiencing and enjoying the video game in 100% screen mode. To exit the complete screen setting, click the F11 key. And we would probably just be in standard computer screen setting. Now I am choosing to clarify you the keyboard mapping and that is actually quite appealing. This step we may be in a position to utilize the game app far more easily. The very first thing is to click on this app icon. It's now time to complete the necessary setups. I am about to put the default configuration, though if you really want to adjust this, you can easily achieve it with no problem. Perhaps you have realized, the emulator is entirely in our language. Once in a while it happens that your emulator is launched in the wrong language, such as, in Japanese. And to place it in the right language we browse here to the cogwheel. And there throughout other configuration settings, we simply click on the, language, drop down. We can easily opt for the language we want, German, Japanese, and so forth. After the language is selected, we could save, the emulator will restart, and also the game, the next time we start it, would of course be in the specified language. Now, you can find another point that we must take into account, and it's that we will receive a message from Gmail reporting that a brand new equipment has been linked to our own Google account. It definitely will question us if we are the people who have connected that device. Of course, we really should not worry, simply because the emulator is acting as a Google Android tablet or smartphone. And to find which device is being emulated, we return here, to the cogwheel and we just click on it. And we browse here to the, model, selection. And here we learn that the emulator is acting as a Samsung cellular phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all guys, so much for the training. I anticipate you liked it, especially that everyone thought it was interesting. If that is so, allow it a great thumb up, subscribe to my channel, and if you have comments, issues or suggestions, leave them in the comment field below. Just click any of the training videos which are usually appearing on the computer screen and let's have fun again in the upcoming training videos. Bye.